just in case you've been bouncing around, let me get you a little recap. At the very start of this season, we landed on Ole Miss. We elected our team captain, Trey Harris. And in the season opener, with the ball game tied 30 to 30, that same team captain completely sold. Quick blitz. Oh! oh! The actual fuck! We lost that game, and we started the season rocky at 0-1. But that's when an unlikely hero, Hank Bachmeyer, stepped up to the plate. Bachmeyer went on to win three straight games, including last episode where we completed the challenge and opened one of the craziest packs I've ever opened. Now that pack included not one, but two amazing new quarterback options. Famous Jameis and Caden Simonza. So today we're going to see a brand new quarterback and our starter is Jameis Winston. Pretty much everybody wanted Jameis, I understand. Although, I hope I don't play like Jameis, because if we throw that many interceptions, I'm not winning a national championship. We're eating crab legs and, and Ws. Oh. That's a W. Famous Jameis gets mobile resistance gold tier. Significantly improved ability to resist pressure when on the run. So the Wheeling College squad's looking pretty good, baby. Trey Harris, Jeremiah Smith, and Tedaroa McMillan as our wide receivers. We've got all-time goaded name Holden Willis at tight end, backed up by Riley Nowakowski. A super solid offensive line, and a ton of studs on defense. JPJ and Will Johnson, alongside Travis Hunter, LaMiles Brooks, Devin Neal, EJ Lightsey, Sean Doe, Greg Panna, Michael Williams, Fadil Diggs, Kevin Hester, Cam Horsley, and Jaden Bellamy. But there's really not too many big improvements I want to make on this team. Corner three, both of my D tackles could take an upgrade. Obviously, we do want a stud tight end, and I could certainly upgrade my right and left guard, but we're in a good spot, Jalen. Also, apologies if you couldn't watch last episode. Um, It got age-restricted because I was humping Tito so much, so I got to chill out with that. Come on, baby! Believe, gentlemen, I believe! Then we will have a great episode. Get a dub. Clap cheeks. Balls cock. Winner. Oh, wait. What is this? What is this? I wrote that on the wheel and I don't know what that is. Oh, this is what LaMiles Brooks is. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Dude, there's like every LSU wide receiver in this. I think there's a Jamar Chase and a Justin Jefferson. There's a Jamar Chase, which is sick. There's a Justin Jefferson. There's a Joe Burrow. I literally don't need these guys at all. The wide receivers might be like my best group on my entire team. Joe Burrow's a minor upgrade on Jameis. KJ Jefferson's a minor upgrade. Devin Manuel would be a pretty big upgrade. Bryson Nesbitt, North Carolina. Dude, low key, I kind of remember using this dude during my road to glory when I was on North Carolina. Oh my God, he's fast as shit. Brian Nesbitt is a dog. All right, Brian Nesbitt, 90 overall tight end for 90,000 coins. I'm telling you, the, the market in this game is so crazy. Holden Willis will still get reps. Holden Willis will be the back. I'm not a barbarian, bro. Offense looking gorgeous. Famous Jameis at QB. Bijan at running back. Now Bryson Nesbitt boosted to a 91 up a tight end. Our first wheel spin in today's episode is exactly what I wanted. A heater in a position we needed. Can I get a corner three? Give me a corner three, a D tackle here. Three times newest promo packs. It's, it's possible we pull some absolute heat here. The limited as I'm recording is right there. Georgia's Jalen Walker after Georgia low key exposed Texas. I actually love college football right now, by the way. It is impossible to tell who the best team is. So these rising the rank packs, they guarantee an 87 plus. That's gonna be insane. They also have a BND pack, which is awesome. It's super discounted. Thank you, EA. This is, this is lit. A guaranteed 87 plus and I get a discount. Wade Wood. He is an upgrade. He's an upgrade on EJ Lightsey. Our second player, Peyton Bowen. Peyton Bowen watches the videos too. Love that. Uh, sorry, Peyton. You are not starting though. Wade is starting. Don't blame me, Peyton. I didn't make the game. All right. Don't shoot the messenger. If we can get the limited though, I low-key would be pissed if we got the limited because these are BND right now. If it's blue, it's definitely not the limited. Justice Ellison, Indiana has looked really good. He'll be a nice backup for Bijan. Right now we have the BB gun. Lee BB Jr. out of UAB. An upgraded backup halfback. We got a little one-two punch. And our final Final pack, bro. I have so many quarterbacks. All right, let's compare the two. They're both 89. Sawyer Robertson is faster, less throw power. I'm not gonna lie, he is significantly better than Jameis. Although his play action sucks. I'm still giving Jameis a shot. We'll just put him at backup, and maybe he gets a rep. Maybe he doesn't. Dude, my pack luck is actually so cracked. Mitch Evans is back. We had him last season, right? Oh, dude, that would mean I have to take out Holden Willis. I can't take out Holden Willis. Oh wait, what a minute. What about Mitch Evans at fullback? All right. Mitch Evans at fullback. Similar blocking stats, and he's a lot faster. And that takes us to, these spins have been gnarly. Takes us to our third wheel spin. I want a D-tackle. You give me a D-tackle right here. 
gonna be a big day, baby! Oh, you gave me a D-tackle. You certainly gave me a D-tackle. SEC! There's exactly one god-tier SEC D-tackle. And guess who he plays for? Oh, huh, it's Ole Miss season, baby. Walter Nolan, who ironically I had his core elite last season too. He was an 84 overall then. Walter Nolan, Heisman hopeful. Something tells me he's not winning the Heisman, but I guess that's why it's called Heisman hopefuls, right? If Ashton Genty doesn't win it, I will ride in the streets. This is a fast, big D-tackle though. 84 speed, 85 excel with those pass rush moves. Out of the last like 10 episodes, this might be one of the three best wheel spins we've gotten in a long time. We have a ridiculous amount of good talent on these three wheel spins. And the only way I keep them is if we win this next episode. So we gotta win today. Jameis, don't let me down, buddy. Walter Nolan boosted to a 92, making him the highest overall player on my entire team. I think we gotta give Walter Nolan an ability. I think he gets quick jump. Quick jump is a really nice ability. Also, EA heard me bitching about wear and tear. They made Aftershock 5 AP, which was a huge addition. Thank you, EA. We needed that. Damn, this is a really big episode. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Walter Nolan, Wade Wooders, Bryson Nesbitt, Mitch Evans, Justice Ellison, Sawyer Robertson, all on the line. Of course, the challenge wheel, which was so unbelievably overpowered last episode. So we can complete it again today. 100 plus. 100 plus rushing yards. This is a team stat, not one player. And we just added Justice Ellison. Hank Bachmeyer could not scramble. We did it every once in a while, but that dude had like 62 speed. Kamari Ramsey, Sonny Styles, Josiah Stewart. Will this be our first episode of the season where we have a higher overall? Ole Miss versus Mizzou. Am I gonna play bad now? No, I'm gonna play good. I'm gonna play so good. It's, it's our first game with Jameis Winston. Look at that backfield. Famous Jameis, Bijan, Trey Harris, Jeremiah Smith, Bryson Nesbitt, and T-Mac. Play action. I wanna, dude, if I was truly Jameis, I would've hucked that ball to Trey Harris. Bryson Nesbitt! Halfback ISO, Bijan Robinson. We like those blocks. We like those spins. We like those dukes. True! First and 10, hey, those are good rushing yards. Why not? Get to that linebacker, 77. Or, or, or you guys can go block on the right side where nobody's positivity wins championships. Oh, you're gonna press cover? Oh, I love when I see that. Trey Harris, inside leverage. We win those! Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Yeah, baby! You like that, Tino? Oh my God, Tino! If I could get even an ounce of monetization, I would help you until you're so pregnant. I would put literally three babies at once inside of Tito right now. If, oh, you want it so bad. Look at him, he wants it. Tito, pop your head out if you want it so bad. I mean, what did he expect? Going out dressed like that. Is this man courage? It's not. Head back in the middle, I own. Can we watch that back? That linebacker was in man coverage on the other wide receiver. I've never seen them react like that. That was such a good reaction. Sean Dolich. Buffalo legend, Walter Nolan. Is that Walter Nolan? Was that him? Dude, that guy's supposed to be 6'4", 290? He looks like Micah Parsons. Oh, no. Oh, third and 13. Dude, our pass rush got so good. He has to pass here, we can guess pass. I haven't had a, like a really God tier D tackle all season. Oh, wow, I can't believe I let that up. After all that good defense, letting that up was crazy. And nobody can tackle. That's a crazy play to get a one-play touchdown on. All right, we need these rushing yards. And block that linebacker, which he really doesn't want to do. But Bijan! Oh, my God, Bijan! Josiah Stewart! Damn it, he's fast. Josiah Stewart tracks him down. That was a ridiculous run. Hey, we need 100-plus rushing yards. Bijan's going to do it himself. Bijan's hot. I'm going to give him another one. Oh, wow, that's a really bad defense. Ah! Ah! That could have been a lot better. Not really the question. The question is, does it matter? There's Bijan. He's got a good user. He's just messing up big time right now. He keeps whiffing. Can we? Can we? Bijan, head first! Down to the inch yard line. I'm not gonna lie, Bijan's hurting a little bit. Let's sub him out. Let's get Justice Ellison in here. I'm gonna sub Jameis out for Robertson. Just guys, I just feel like it. Cut it up the middle. Make it easy! What? How is that even possible? Oh my god, they're completely bagging. How did he not get in? Fourth and goal. Massive play. Easy. Wow. After all that, after all that, we get an easy one with Famous James. It's really my fault for pulling James. I want a decoy motion. T-Mac decoy motion. 
Oh my god. Wait, that was actually a disgusting play call. I motioned T-Mac down, gave him the escape route. I don't know that I've ever seen an escape route be so open. Ooh, the clock's not my friend here because he gets ball half. Yeah, it's definitely not my friend here. Worst case scenario, he scores with no time left. I'm blitzing. Oh, he's going to go corner route again. Oh. Oh, I was so close to that. First and 10. What's the play? I'm going Will Johnson here. I'm expecting a corner route out of Clemens. No, it's a delay draw. Second and seven. Oh, no. Sean is wear and teared. I repeat, Sean is wear and teared. Dude, he gets wear and tear every game. What is he? What's hurting for him right now? Corner route. He's going to throw it again. I don't... Oh, can I? For... Oh, God. oh, my God. If I use or play it and I time it well, you better give me that damn football, EA. Oh. That was a very nice play call. I did not expect him to do that. That was the last thing I saw coming there. Does he run this football? Criminally fucking bagged. I dare you to throw the football right now. Dude, look at Lamar. You're fucking lying. Can we see that again? What did he just do? Oh my God, he threw a perfect ball. Like, get the fuck out of here. I am not losing this game. Oh, I'm tilted out of my mind right now. Corner out, tight end. Pump fakes it. Dude, he's making perfect throws every time. That is the most bailed drive, and he's gonna get the ball at half. He's gonna turn the ball over because he already should have twice. I've got 15 seconds and three timeouts to hopefully get up a field goal because he does get ball at half. I assume it's man coverage. I'm looking for Trey Harris. Oh my God, he kind of has the leverage on this. Six seconds left. Ah, uh, honestly, we like kneel this football. Oh, actually, we go inside zone to get rushing yards. Second and 10. Inside zone, we'll just take whatever we can get. 14 to 14 and a half, he gets the ball. That's such an unlucky last drive. I perfectly user played it. Gundu's close, I kind of expect a handle. Sometimes I'm on, man. Sometimes I'm on. Uh, slip screen again. Yup, yup, set the blitz, guess pass. They don't bite on play action. Third and 22. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh shit, I'm stuck in a fucking detail. Dude, could I come down with the football when I make a play on it? Please, could I come down with the football when I make a play on it? Oh my god, please no. And you hit stick him forward? This is fucking ridiculous, dude, and we missed that tackle on Lamar. Oh my god, how did he get hit stick forward? Fourth and fucking 22. This is real life. Oh, Matt, you got to get it together. You're going to lose. I'm 100% going to lose if I, start, if I don't. Oh, he's going to turn it over. You don't get this lucky all game long. He's going to turn it over. I just got to keep telling myself that. There it is. Why are you diving so far? Why are you good? Just a handoff. Stretch run or tight end attack? Tight end attack. I've seen this play a few times. Nice play. I'm sending Michael. We're going Greg Penn to, to use the corner out here. Okay. Another slip screen. Bring him in. Why? What are these angles? What the fuck? Why are you so fast? First and goal. We know he's going up the middle. Run, commit middle. I'm going to freak the fuck out. Oh my god, it's Ray commit middle. I hit you in the backfield. He's going to turn it over at the very last second. He's going to turn this ball over in the fourth quarter. Got Nesbitt as a check down. Trey Harris, if this is zone. He is. I like scoring quick here. I really like scoring quick here because he is making so many mistakes. I just cannot capitalize on it. So I need him to play more offense so that he can make the mistake, actually. I just have to execute the turnover. I tell you what, for being tilted, this is one of the best tilted games I play. 21 to 21, no turnovers. Smart football, and that is how you get through your blocks. First and 10, start of the 12. You march 88 yards, damn it. You deserve to win. I don't see him doing it. Sure is. Good. Defense. Second and 12. Second and 12. I'm going to blitz Wade. Could be a slip screen. It's not. He's got a check down in the middle. All right. I'm on LaMiles Brooks here. Garden Clemens. 81 is wide open. I don't know why he was so open. I don't really know what he thinks he's going to go for here. Dude, like, what are we doing down there? the fuck? Somebody walk up and get the guy. Holy shit. And we can't get past rush to save our lives. And it's still winnable. Completely winnable. First and 10. What's the play? Something short. 
That's a fucking monster open field tackle. Pistol wing. I'm dropping it to coverage on this one. Just gonna hand off to Genty. Third and nine, he motions Ash and Genty to the right side. Get up! Get Lamar! He doesn't fumble! It's fourth and four! It's fourth and four! Does he take the field goal? No! He's going for the kill! I'm playing QB contain. No more Lamar scramble nonsense. I'm just worried about him scrambling up the middle. Here he goes. Here he goes Lamar! Stop! Go on! What did I say? What did I say? Ben, don't break! Ben, don't break! All right, it ain't over. But damn it, we're playing a perfect game. Finally got our turnover. Yep, wide stack is perfect here. This should be really good yards for Bijan. Wide stack inside zone. Bijan's got an absolute lane. Second and two. I'm running the same thing. You got to get out of that 3-3. He is still in 3-3. He is in a lot of trouble here. Oh my fucking God. I just winged his defense out so bad. You don't take this touchdown. The defense is gun wide stack. Panicking to stop the run. He brings everybody down. It brings T Mac completely unguarded. Faking a switch. I want him to think this is going right side. Just send it left, cut it back. Bijan stiff arm. He's down to the three yard line. I'm gonna go right side with it. <gasps> Bijan! Honestly, you I don't think you're supposed to take that touchdown, but I obviously will. He's got 30 seconds in a timeout to go ahead and score another touchdown. Holy shit, did we play a perfect game today? Now let's close it. Honestly, in this game, there's no safe kickoff option. I'm just gonna bomb this one as deep as I can. That's a perfect power kick. And we gotta go play for it. Oh, he's gonna flag it down. Just gotta close this one out. Will Johnson is wear and tear. I do not like that. Lamar's gonna step up the middle. This is the worst thing you could have done. Does he have a corner out? He does, and I think it's open. No, he's gonna step up with Lamar again. Check down. He spins into the open field. The clock is ticking. Crazy, crazy play call. This dude's a psycho. Does he go 81? That's out of bounds. Four seconds left on the clock. I mean, it's Hail Mary at this point. Second and 10, what's the play call here? Four seconds left to salvation. Uh, he's looking for 12 up the middle, I assume. This is a really weird play. I don't know how no, like, what the fuck are the, is the blocks he's getting? He should just take off with Lamar. He doesn't have a goddamn thing. Oh! What a game! That was one of the most deserved, purest wins we've had in a long, long time. We finally made our stop. Trey Harris, redemption! Player of the game's Trey Harris. He sold that first game of our season, but he clutched up today. That moves our record to 4-1. and one. Trey Harris, and frankly, he should have had three touchdowns, but I didn't give him that final one. Oh no, that was T-Mac. That was T-Mac who got robbed of a touchdown. Unbelievable game. We gotta check the stats. Our challenge was 100 plus rushing yards. Oh no. I wish I had checked. I don't know what I would have done differently. I really don't know what I would have done differently. Jameis, 409 QBR, six for nine. That's a Jameis game. Jameis was incredible. Six for nine on the ground. Bijan nine for 97, 10.7 yards per carry. And he touched down Justice Ellison, two for negative two. But hey, nine for 97 is insane for Bijan. He was so good. Receiving, Trey Harris, two for 138. T-Mac, one for 78. Nesbitt, one for 18. So all of our best playmakers were super involved today. Defensively, Sean Dolich, seven. Travis Hunter, seven. Two TFLs out of Dolich. A sack out of Fidel Diggs. A sack out of Wade Woodas. No interceptions, dude. That's so rare. No interceptions, no fumbles. That was just a, that was a pure football game and we stopped him on fourth down. I want to go back to probably my favorite play of the game. Second and two. This formation is called gun wide stack. Puts your wide receivers all the way on the boundary. It's a crazy formation and I really don't use it a lot. But the first time we ran it, Bijan ran for 11 yards. So he panics here and he brings eight down into the box. Well, now you've got one DB for two wide receivers. It was probably wide open on both sides, wasn't it? Look at that. It's wide open on the right side for Trey Harris. And it's wide open on the left side. For T-Mac. Jameis, clean pocket, gets the pass into T-Mac. And this, by the way, ended up being really important. 
that we did not score right here. He moved that ball down the field so fast. If he had those two extra timeouts, I'm almost certain he would have scored. I'm gonna do something very painful here and I am going to go open the pack that we would have gotten if I had completed my challenge. I would have opened another Rising the Ranks pack because I'd be hoping for that limited Jalen Walker. So let's see what this pack has in it. It don't matter. Ball don't lie, basically. It wouldn't have mattered. Gentlemen, this was a heater. I love you. Thanks for watching as always. Never forget that you have a nice cock with solid girth, a great vein down the middle, and you're very handsome.